wow, you did hear, when I heard the news on Sunday, um, the good news is that we hear that your no exit order has been lifted. This is a good news. I now, yes. Yeah, you passed out that you can leave the country. But you wanted to finish some affairs with regard to the uh, psychiatric assessments you've been forced to do. Yes, because I've been seeing my son in the American Sketcher under supervision. For the last uh, four and a half years, I've been seeing him there. Uh, under the false allegations on my ass that I am dangerous to the child, that I'm going to kidnap him, that I'm going to hurt him, and some other details that I had not been informed. So, uh, what I heard is that two and a half months ago, a judge, uh, under the advice of a social worker, uh, gave an order that I am allowed to have my son outside the supervision facility. They didn't tell you that bit? They didn't they did. tell me that until the last minute that, uh, that me and my lawyer we learned that my son's mother went back to court to pledge before the judge saying that if she give the child to me to play outside the supervision area, I will hurt the child and I, w I am very dangerous to the child and that I know uh, I'm a dangerous man and other allegations that I, I was not being told. So the judge okay. order. What I want to ask you, because with you've had a little development here, we know that you can leave, but you've decided just to wait a few weeks to finish off all this uh, psychiatric, which you know, nonsense. family psychiatric evaluation. Yeah, of you, which she now has to go through, and we know she doesn't want to. Uh, what did she do to you this weekend? She actually went last Thursday after a month and a half of avoiding to go. And what did she do to you? What? Who did she report you to, you did you? I. Uh, I spent a great time with my son last Sunday on mm -hmm. my authorized supervised visitation on Sunday for two hours. I made lunch for him, I got him pizza, we played video games. Uh, after I left the American Sketcher and I walked out of the building, a van pulled out. There were three uniformed guys with guns and badges and they surrounded me. Uh, and arrested me. They asked me if I was Jewish. I said, of course, I am Jewish. And they put me inside a van. And, and they were saying why I had been here in Israel illegally when I'd been told to leave Israel uh, a long time ago. And I said to them, I'm surprised that you're asking me those questions because I have an stop exit on my passport that I cannot leave. And I explained to them part of the story while we were on the way to a location that I know I don't know exactly where it was. I have an idea. So once I was there, I was placed in a jail cell, and I had to wait for an immigration judge to see me. Uh, the guys they gave me my phone to contact friends and family members and my lawyers, which I did. My lawyers started to contact them. My lawyers actually worked for the Israeli Center Authority, who is being working with the U.S. State Department to help me to have my parental rights for my son. Which my we just need to check something here, you did it, because I know on the one story you're trying to get the rights to your son. Right. You're also trying to prove that you're not uh, a lunatic, you know? Exactly, because that um, has been And that's, that's one thing, and that's only a recent thing, but you've actually been trapped in Israel for 18 months with the Kubitsia. I've been trapped for, yes, yeah, nearly, nearly. And then you get arrested by immigration. By immigration. For being here illegally. For being here illegally you when I have any stuff ex in my passport. You actually can't really make this up, can you? No, I can't. Um, and I am a Jew who my right has been violated and not respected. Not even a work permit was given to me so I can survive and work and pay the supposedly child support that I owe. But it's very well documented and known that child support is, is the last of her interest. Her interest is to make me suffer as much as she can and it is documented on the recording that the cult organization that she belongs to in Haifa is behind her. Can you name the cult, please? Uh, the cult is in Haifa, and they call themselves an Oha Kalmel. And who? Her who? lawyer, her last lawyer, that she had made the mistake to mention it in front of a social worker and my lawyers. Okay. So it's not a story that I'm making up. Can you just say the name really clearly for me? Or Ha Kalmel. Or Ha Kalmel. It's in Haifa. Who runs the cult, please? It's run by uh, 
Americans married to Jewish women. Just two names if you have them. Uh, one is uh, David Davis, Peter Sukahira, Daniel Saya, which is an Israeli married to an American woman from North Carolina named Noah Saya. Peter is married to, an, to a Jewish woman from New York named Rita Sukahira. And David Davis is married to an American Thank Jewish you. woman from North Carolina from Ohio, named Karen Davis. Thank you for this. Listen, you've been arrested for overstaying in a country you can't leave. Uh, I understand that the delight you have now is you have a 30-day visa to be legally held. The judge, the judge and uh, the authorities at the yeah. Ministry of Interior, after they heard my story, they were in shock. They couldn't believe it, what I've been put through not just as a Jew, but as a human being. And how she has been allowed to keep me seeing my son supervise without any, any proof that I'm dangerous to my son. Uh, they understood at the immigration court that she's been trying to manipulate the system against me. And the judge gave me 30 days so I can complete my, my court hearing. Uh, scheduled for December 17 and to complete my psychological family evaluation so it can be proven that I'm not dangerous to the child and that I can be a father to my son. You, you know, you did hear the one thing, there's a couple of worries here. One is if it's not completed in 30 days, obviously we have to go through all this again. Yes. Uh, secondly, I know why you want to stay and you've told me you're actually really concerned about going back to America and having this follow you. Yes. And you're not mistaken. Yes. Uh, Americans have been followed to the ends of the earth when they've been in this situation. Yes. Um, you can't make this up. How are you feeling? I, I feel destroyed as a human being. I feel that I had no will. Only the love for my son, because I know that that child needs his father. I know that my son loved me. He enjoyed the time that we were together. And I don't want that child to go to a psychological trauma that his father abandoned him, that his father don't love him, because that's not the truth. I know, you're fighting so All the hard. truth has been hidden from the public under the name of whatever religion they believe or Christianity. And I'm not biased against anybody's belief. I'm just bringing to the attention of the truth of what really had happened here. And if people can hear in details what has been done to me and my son, they will be horrified. Horrified. I don't hate those people in Haifa. I just want them to do what is the right thing. You want to go home, you want to be free, and you want I just son want to prison. go home. I just want to be free. I just want to be a father to my child. Okay. I'm not seeking to damage anybody. But justice must be done. And what has been done to me and my son is inhumane. Inhumane. There is paper after paper and proof after proof of everything that has been done to me. I'm not just speaking as to Yod, as he said here in Israel. I have evidence, both recording evidence and paperwork evidence, and I have the Israeli authority that has been fighting to help me through this situation. And they themselves are a witness and a testimony of the atrocity that this woman and her family and the ministry behind her has done to me. Thank you. Thank you.